Hey everyone and welcome back to Angel's Fingering Corner. My name is Angel Mercedes and today we're gonna be doing something different. I wanna show you guys how to install Cura 2.3, 2.2 on um, Ubuntu 16.04. Now the problem that there is with 16.04 now is that if you download Cura and try to install it, you're trying to run it then it's gonna give you an issue you will be able to click on the on on cura but it's gonna give you an issue mostly if you run it from the terminal you can see that it says that you need um python 3.4 or something like that so i'm gonna be showing you guys the proper way on how to install um cura in this video so let's log in and i'm i'm on a virtual machine right now because I don't tend to use Ubuntu, but I know a lot of people use it and I have used it before, so it doesn't matter. Uh, first of all, we're gonna go to Cura. I'm gonna, gonna go and get Cura. And we're gonna get it installed so that I can show you guys um, what happens when you install it from um, Cura. So now you're here in the Ultimaker site. And here you can see we have Cura 2.3.1. It says download for free. It's gonna ask us um, what we wanna, what we are. If you're gonna use it for educational use, personal projects, professional work, or if you don't wanna give any information, I'm not gonna give any information because um, I have done it before, like two or three times, so it doesn't matter for me. And I just wanna go quicker, so. Gonna save and, um, Ubuntu 16.04. Now the problem. Now we, we can go ahead and install it. So I'm gonna install it from the terminal. If you don't know how to install it from the terminal, I wanna show you guys how you can install um, that that um, from the terminal. So we have to do sudo dpkg dpkg um, that that I and then we're gonna put the location of the dev file so it's gonna be uh, downloads so it's gonna come out of complete it if I press tab and then we're gonna put capital C and then Cura then I can put my password just that for password is it that one So it's gonna ask us to press Y to confirm. Oh, it didn't. Um, I think it was. That's okay. Um, after this, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can run it. So I'm gonna go. Thank you. Cool. It's really laggy. There you go. So we're gonna just wait and see if it solves. Yeah, so that is what happens um, when you install directly from the Cura site. It basically you install it, then you run it, and it just closes. So I'm gonna show you what it actually says when you run it from the terminal. It just says that it says um, Python 3.4. You know, command not found so what we're gonna do now is just remove it so so yes now it's completely uninstalled if I try to look for it it's, gonna, it's not gonna be here which is good you have to do that if you if you have to install you have to do that um, completely remove it so we don't have any problems later on so now we have to find a way in which we can install the new Ascura um, and it actually works so in the description you're gonna find um, a link this link over here and it basically explains that 
Cura is not gonna run, Cura 2.1, whatever is not gonna run because when you install it, it's breaking Python 3.4. So they say that the solution is to go over here and then it's gonna present us with this information. So the first thing that we have to do is copy this over here. I'm gonna have it in the description. So, um, and we're gonna pop open the terminal. Move it over here. Paste. And then we, we can press enter. So when we press enter, it's, it gives us this information about the package and it's basically the same information that we have here so we can just press enter now it said that we need to do sudo app get, get update Jesus. just gonna wait for the process to finish then we just do sudo apt-get install cura yes so now we can actually um, go and see so yes it is so now you can open it and it actually launches now and it says 2.4.0 ppa 2.4.0 is the latest version that they have i think it's a beta if i'm not mistaken from what i saw so is this a beta or the completely latest one So now you can pick your printer. I'm gonna say, I, let's say I have a, I'm just gonna go crazy and say that I have a i3 MK2, because I really want one. A printer. Ooh. So there you go. Now, Cura is actually working now. So that's a way to solve the problem if you have had any problems. Um, that's about it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.